What's going on guys? Welcome back to PFI Speed. It's been a while since you've seen the old hot rod truck. She's been back here in my shop and she's keeping cool. It is freezing in here. <sighs> Super cold. As you guys know, I'm trying to get my son Goofy Built Shane's CRX prep for sick week. He's been working really hard on it, nonstop. Prepping everything, making sure all his stuff is tight, good, and uh, should last. So one of the main problems we have right now is an alternator. The car doesn't have an alternator. There's not really room for an alternator. Um, where there kinda is, we've got the exhaust going through. We could look at changing the exhaust. We could look at driving the alternator different as well, you know, from the camshaft, whether it be where the distributor used to be, or on the front of the cam, where the cam gears are, where some guys drive a fuel pump. But as of now, we've elected to try to do the same thing we did on the coal truck. I'm gonna bump some parts from my little hot rod truck. Right now, what I need to do is I need to steal that alternator off there so we could drive it off of Goofy Built's rear drive shaft. So I'm gonna get it off the truck today, get it down to the shop, and start kind of feeling out where that thing's gonna go. So uh, let's find some tools in here and uh, knock that out. I'll find some decent light here. All right, so you can see on the coal truck, on the quick change rear end, um, we had a pulley set up here on the differential, and it just drove our alternator here. So we need to pull these couple bolts, pull this bad boy off, and uh, run down the shop, see where we can fit it. What's up, Goof? It's definitely smaller than I. I remember too, so tiny guy. Good thing. This floor just sucks the heat out of your body. Found an eleven and three eighths. Eleven and three eighths. I'll try those. Yeah, it's that. One. I think it's the eleven. Mm. All right, we got it. You found the original lantern? That's, remember we had a guy come make the keys for this? Yeah, I know. I'm Jeez. Like, What's up, Bobby? I got pulled over right up the street. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not, nothing good for a start of the day. The big tires threw my Speedo off. I was doing, what? Did he give you a break 60. or? 60 in a 45. I thought I was doing 50. Did he bring you a break? Yep. That's good. Yeah, because I, I saw him, the first one, and then I grabbed the phone and texted you, hey, careful. Oh, and then it was too late. The, the second one was you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was me. <laughs> Javi came over yesterday and we dug out the, the old Chevy. Um, I had traded Kyle uh, for some parts a long time ago. Um, so the truck became mine. So I want to try to help Javi out and uh, we're going to get him on the road so he can get working again. Want to buy new batteries? Yeah, don't fall. Don't fall here. You're just slippery. Jamie's in Florida and we're over here working. New oil. Oil, batteries. For starting, then check what you have and start working on it. All right, should be going again. Start point for me. Yeah, it's a good start point and one less thing sitting around in my yard <laughs> it started right up so we know it'll it'll go so he's gonna work this thing out and goof and I are gonna go play with his alternator and uh, see if we can't make this thing work ready goof yep. he's like unlock the door all right so the pulley chain had way. made yeah, yeah if you, you clean right. this it's just this you see yeah but that's what holds it this? Yeah. Yeah, that little bit. Oh, oh okay. And then the bolts right there, the bolts in the back, sandwich it, hold it tight. See, so we could put it, like I was saying, in the car. In the car or whatever, yeah. You could mount it this way, or this way, whatever, or we could do a bracket off here, like you were just doing. Hold it up there again. 
All right, so we do a bracket off the side there or up top. Or we can weld a plate from here to here. So you, you put your tabs here and then the screw there. And then for the adjustment, you can make something. Yeah, so we can swing it. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna look at this. We're also gonna look where the distributor mounts because we noticed this hex is the right size for the drive. So perhaps we could do it off the cam. So awesome. we're gonna look at that real quick. Shane checked that at the house. So I thought we'd take a look. So we'll let this thing down and uh, check out if there's room. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Shane's battery it weighs nothing off. <laughs> nothing. It's wild, huh? Yeah. No one hand. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So good. Goofy got the engine bay all painted up again. It really does look good. Yeah, this kind of goes. So, got this little drive that would go in here. Those are our options. There, we either try to figure it out here or figure it out on the drive shaft. Drive shaft, we know we can do, and that's easy. This, I don't know if it's easy, but it could be cool. <laughs> And this is the drive originally we had for the for a cable drive to the fuel pump in the back, which was the mechanical pump that's on showing up right now. Um, but we had a miss up one time, one two one it, and one two, and it broke the cable. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the cable, Shane? It's over there on the shelf. But what happened? It's pretty both broken. <laughs> Twisted up. So there's so, the drive piece. If we make like. Because like the pulley could well. come off yeah. if it was right there, right? And he has the spacer. Where's that thing at? Maybe lost it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that thing would just be in the way. And the blow off valve. Because. Yeah. We could make a mount to mount it up here. Or we make another one of these that's shorter, you know? So it just sits right in there. So those are our options. That one is good, you just need to make this pipe a little bit this side and then probably move this through here. Yeah. And then put a 16 here and just run a line. Just so it's set off to the side. Here it'll charge all the time, there it'll charge just when we're rolling. But we, but this battery only has the rear fuel pump and lights on it, and, starter. and the starter itself. That's it. So if you're running on the night, you you don't go to like stop at half an hour and leave the car like running. Yeah. So it might be your yeah all time. Yeah, we'll be moving all the time. So your car goes to be charging. Yeah, it would be fine. Uh, yeah, all the drive car drive right? straight through. Yep, it's race, drive, race, drive, or drive, race, drive, race, drive, race. Yeah. That's the pen if you make your number like quickly. We have to try to make our number quickly. And, and try to like drive during the day. Yeah, that's the goal. Most of the time. And the other thing is probably, I, don't, I never be in a race like that, but you, you guys driving like in lines together. Yeah, we'll drive together, yep. And where it breaks is where you fix it. So if it's broke on the side of the road, that's where you're fixing it. And Shane's found out like, if we even, if we didn't bring the part, we have to ask for permission to buy another part for it. So we have to try to bring basically everything. So we're gonna make a list today to like coils, extra set of injectors, extra fuel pump with all the fittings on it, everything. Extra relays, extra line. Yep, so this would be cool. We'll have an extra engine, extra transmission, extra clutch. A lot. A lot. Uh, and then we have to haul it. <laughs> Almost an extra car. Yeah. But man, this bay turned out so good. Yeah, it looks really good. It does, doesn't it? And you, you just painted that yourself this time, huh? Yep. It turned out so good. 
looks a lot better. Yeah, it's awesome. This yep. is holding everything. Holding yeah. All. Yeah, your radiator is pretty big. Bigger than I was remembering, so. I'm worried about cooling, so. Should be okay. Mm -hmm. Just mounting this little guy. So what do we think? Probably the drive shaft. Probably the drive shaft? That's kind of what yeah. I thought too. This would be cool, but it's moving too much stuff too soon probably, right? And even if we broke a drive shaft and had it run a front wheel drive, it'd still be charging because we could put the bolts back in the diff and just... Yeah, keep it spinning. Keep it spinning. Yeah, because the rear tire always goes. Always yeah. goes, yep. Well, we'll get on that, start making a bracket, and try to mount this alternator up. All right, so we're going to mock up the alternator right up in here and uh, see what we need to do to build some brackets and then go from there. Well, that is cool. Alternator to go in the car or just right off to the side? Right off to the side seems like a pretty good option. I mean, we can weld it right off that bar. Right? Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Off the bar? Yeah, I think off the bar too. That'd be simple enough. That'll be fun. An axle. Oh, there it goes. Got him. So, is there a way to tell? Is it, they're both double stripes? Or? Yeah, it's double stripes. Three so the long one is three stripes. Oh yeah, quite a bit. Yeah. So we're using the double stripe ones, so if you guys got double stripe ones laying around, we need them. We need them. This one takes two double stripes because it's all narrow. That's the one I blew up because I have another one of these cups and it just needs a little bit of love on the tripod because I didn't break the tripod. I just dinged up one of them. Oh, okay. So I can fix that one, but... Just T2. Keep looking, there should be an L on it. The left side should have an R on it. Or an R, yeah, that's what I meant. It'll just have a letter. There's a T2 on the top of it. Five. Oh, R, I found it. That one's got an L. And, uh, yeah. It had to be back again. There's an R and an L. An L, the L's on this side. You know? Shit, kiddo. They're right. They held this new. You wanna grab the yellow paint marker out of my box? I got some paint markers. You see where that nut is or no? Mm -hmm. The nut? The nut over here? No, there's a nut. I have it up here against the tube. I want it. The, the oh, nut I can flat see against the tube. Yeah, it's flat. Right in that area. Okay. That was just it's right more here. At the like, it's more like right here. Okay. Because I can't like fourteen this out. So you were like it was like that. Well it was like I guess. So it was like that. Like that. So there, I got the corner of the, the paint connecting towards myself and got like that. Okay, <clears throat> clean up the bottom of the paint. Yeah. This nut here, I'm gonna weld it to the bottom of this tube. Yeah. And then, uh, you can go from there, dog. Jane, can you make sure this thing's straight? The bolt? Or? Yeah, the bolt. A second ago, I just had it tilted, you know? Yeah. 
good or I think it's straight, yeah. Up and down though, it's at least straight. Huh? Up and down though, it's straight. Yeah, 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 we're just straight on to you. I think I got it. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. All right, goofy builds in here. You know, weld our little bracket on and uh, try to hold the sucker in place. That should be plenty. Oh, kiddo found a spacer, so let's get this thing on and measure for it. We can bolt it up have it square while we try and up the other part yep all right so what we do we have the single cam bottom bracket and uh, we're gonna make a little tab that comes off of this tube and mates up to it try to keep it pretty simple um, with what we got laying around so it's kind of fun so goofy's over there taking a tab off and we're gonna take this plate right here from this tube to that something like that so yeah. if you want to grind this edge flat on this plate and then grind and then take your flap disc and go across here and across and here yeah just to clean them up that'll keep our welds nice Straight okay up. we need your green marker because we don't want to tack this with the alternator on we don't want any bits to fall inside the alternator so just go to both sides of it and then on top of it or underneath it Woo! How'd you guys like that ride? Is that your method not to burn your hair? Yeah, it looks good for a lot of hair. All right, so Goof and I got this all mocked up before we weld anything. Uh, we got this bracket that he fabbed up. Got a little mount up there and it runs true. So, we're definitely on the right track here, Goof. There's still a little space behind. Let's, let's loosen that one up and see where it goes flat. And then we should be able to fix it from there. But it's looking pretty good. We got this little bracket mocked up. Okay, so, so Goof went in and tightened everything up. Um, it looks like you have enough adjustment go in and out a little bracket there you just got to finish welding this up um, but everything else looks like it's pretty good let's rotate the tires and you can see it running true forward backwards everywhere yeah awesome. so that'll that'll charge the car while we drive it yeah. and uh, Maybe it seems like a pretty this. good solution but, all right, let's get the alternator back off then and we'll weld that all up. And yeah. Goof's gonna be charging. Awesome. Yep, this is gonna be an exciting week. It will be. All right, so everything's tight now. Yep. Let's rotate that tire and let's watch it and make sure nothing bounces around or does anything weird. Woo-wee! Yeah. 
Awesome. Yeah, man, that's sweet. Power wire away. Power wire away from charging. That's exciting. All right, so we just gotta throw a little power wire on that stud right there. Run that to the battery, and uh, she's charging. Man, that looks pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Goofy Built and I just made an alternator bracket real quick out of stuff we had laying around. Um, we thought about putting it in the engine bay, it would've been nice, but packaging's pretty tight at the moment. Maybe down the road we can think about that stuff. But we're trying to figure out getting this ready to go on sick week now. So now that we got an alternator in it, we can start testing things. We can put it on the dyno, we can put it on regular gas, we can put the trailer hitch on it, we can put the trailer on it, we can drive it to and from home, and we start knowing what things are gonna be like. Because we don't have a lot of time here, Goof. Nope. So guys, we got all kinds of cool stuff going on with Goof's car. I am super looking forward to getting his receiver in this week and the trailer and start putting that together. I've seen some of the trailers on race week and you guys know I can put a trailer together. I did with Garrett. I know kind of what we need, what I like, and uh, how we can do this. The other side of this is we need to make sure this CRX can tow that trailer. So it can't be too out of control. Uh, we are gonna have some, some pretty critical spare stuff with us. Uh, we wanna be able to we want to be able to do anything to make this car just finish the week, no matter what. And uh, it should be pretty intense. Yep. But I think that's going to do it for today, guys. We got the alternator out of the coal truck. We got it all put on a goose car. It looks like it's going to run good. We just got to finish this drive shaft. Mm -hmm. And then we can throw it on the dyno. And we were talking about even just driving it there for X amount of time. See how the temperature acts. Uh, just see how the whole car is going to act. Uh, yep. Make sure it's charging good. All of that stuff. So... You know, we'll bring you guys along. We've got a ton of stuff going on. Jamie's getting his hot rod ready as well. And uh, this should be just an epic sick week. And sure enough, I'm still chasing a cam sensor bug, but I'll be back on that soon. And uh, I, I know we'll get that solved and knocked out and uh, get that thing running smooth. I'm already stoked it's running all four cylinders, but I want it to just start up when I hit that button. And We've made a lot of progress, so I'm stoked about all of that. So tons of cool things going on in the next couple months here at PFI Speed. So make sure you jump on our website, pfispeed.com. So hopefully we can help you guys get into all the race car parts that you're looking for and uh, stoke you out. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. We appreciate you guys watching. Give a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Thanks a bunch. Let's give them a piece out. <laughs>